What is up, everybody? It is Uncle Mad here with just uh, we're here at the Adventure Science Center in Nashville, Tennessee, for the Harry Potter way late play date. Jessica's had too much of these beers. She's a drinker. I'm not. What's in your hand? I was carrying an extra one for you in case oh. you wanted it. But the theme of the night is this is usually a children's science museum, but tonight they've opened it up for adults to come in, drink adult beverages as Jess is doing, but not me. And they've themed it to Harry Potter. She's a Slytherin. I'm a Gryffindor, so I'm better. They're the villains. We're the heroes. We win! All right, here's a look at the bar offerings at the Way Late Play Date. So if you're a drinker, this is your alley. Why does a mixed drink cost more than just a shot by itself? Is Coke really worth $5 in that Jack and Coke right there? Who's to say? All right, so they had a uh, build the wand line that I waited in for like 15 minutes, but it's too long. I'll try to go back later. We'll see what happens. I feel like that was the first thing everybody rushed to, so maybe it'll go down later. We can check it out, but. Kind of bounce around, see what else is going on. It's just fun to be at the Science Center. This is supposed to be a place just for children. More children's places should do this. Let adults just come in and take over and have all the fun they can have. Some cool stuff going up here. All right, so upstairs we got Snape teaching potions class, which appears to be just him making drinks with bourbon. Not a drinker, but we might need to go partake in this eventually. And then over here, we've got a Quidditch table, but I believe this is called Quidditch beer pong. It's not traditional Quidditch. Still very cool though. Still bad at beer pong. Snape's up there doing stuff. I don't know what he's doing though, but I hope I get, we get to, hope he doesn't put the potions into us. Maybe we should hope he put the potions into us. I don't know, none of that makes sense. Brand ambassador for Bardstown Bourbon Company, and that is I. Uh, so, we have an excellent potions class here. And from the perspective of bourbon, we're going to talk about how bourbon is made how bourbon is blended, how bourbon is mixed in a delicious cocktail, and anything else your heart desires, as long as it has to do with our South Bourbon Company. <laughs> I would like to introduce my, uh, just the jolliest person on the campgrounds, uh, Hagrid. Jess, you just tasted some of Snape's potion. How was it? We had a crossroads. Is that good? You look very sad. Do something I can't believe Snape would do that to you. Are you considering rescinding your membership to Slytherin? No, I don't like it. But he made you do that. He's a Slytherin guy. You made me do it. No, I did. Slytherin brought that to you. You made me do it. Nope. What would you think what of it? What was your reaction when Moonshine the first time you tried it? Yeah. Alright. Help? So, Help. We like to write that we pull directly from the barrel. So at this point it is a bourbon, but it's nothing that we put into a, into a, a final product. Haggard's bringing them our way. Not a drinker, but Snape, the evil Slytherin, is making us do this, so... Hagrid's passing out old fashions. Uh, and Here we go. Noise. I don't know why Snape and Hagrid are working together though. It seems like a, it seems like this breaks canon, right? Why is Hagrid helping with potions? This is supposed to be an old fashioned. It smells like cough syrup. I don't know what old fashioned is though, because I'm not a drinker. So, first, uh, the first thing you need to do is take a drink before I go in. So, you have your cool. Bar syrup. It's syrupy. Wine. It tastes like cough syrup. It smells like cough syrup. It tastes like cough syrup. Sister. Uh, sister. That's why I'm not a drinker. Don't drink, kids. I don't like bourbon. Uh, 
uh, put the bitters in there. Yep, you gotta do that. Flavor in America, because uh, we just didn't grow up that way. Uh, but Is that the Undertaker's theme music? No, it's not the Undertaker. That was like an Irish chick. That was weird. I'm mostly deciding what house you're in. Oh, okay. So what house are you in? I'm in Slytherin. That's up for debate. Oh, you think that? You I think, think we've think? turned her. I, no. I think we might have turned her at a certain point in time. I've literally been in Slytherin since the 90s. Well, that's interesting. That's what? Two of the books? <laughs> well, since, since then, I have... <laughs> That's plenty of time to change. I mean, Snake changed. He was not slithering by the end of the film. There you go. There we Why, go. Why, I have checked myself a few times. Ooh. No, she's it always it's shows up. It always shows up. Okay. So we started off in the books, obviously. We finished the books before you ever saw all the films. Well done there. Yes. And you probably seen, reread the books more than you've seen the movies. No. She has not. You only read them once all the way through? Yeah. But the movies you've seen over and over and over, huh? It's easier to watch them. So you like the Fantastic Beast films too, then? No. I didn't really like Oh! oh, oh wait a minute! The bubble did not like that! <laughs> You did like the second film, didn't you? How dare you talk bad about Johnny Depp. <laughs> da, 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 I wonder if this is the same one that was here when I was a child and it seemed like it was like a thousand times bigger than this. Bye, Jessica. Ray Paul? And so they have all of this fur and feathers and bones that they can't digest. So they actually pack it into a little pellet, which we kind of destroyed it. They're a little bit bigger than this. It looks like a pellet. They cough it up. You can tease it apart and find the bones of whatever creature they ate most recently. That's so, so weird. Yeah, so we've been <laughs> teasing out these bones, and those are some of our coolest bone finds. Yeah, so let me show you. So this is one it's of our skull fragments. And then these are the mandibles, like the lower jaw, that would be on the bottom side of this. And if I turn this over, you can see there, those are its like front incisors oh, coming wow. down. What do you think they were? Mices? This, yeah, probably a little field mouse. And then um, this is another skull with some more jaw bones. This is probably some sort of femur because this ball here would be what goes into the hip joint. And then these are vertebrae. Um, these are not entirely sure. Some people yeah, have told us they think they might be, uh, this one would be an arm bone. Sorry. And then this is a tail that I've been... And it's like whole. Yeah, I know. I don't know what science this is, but we're on the screen. What happened? Oh my god, what happened? Ah! What's happening? Why is this happening? Them bones, them bones, them dry bones. I mean... Hold on. Let me show this. Look at those calves. They're a little puny. Yeah, this is not. This is not accurate to life because everybody knows them calves are way thicker than that. All right, we're gonna show you Tropical Storm Jessica, and it's all its fury right now. The damage is so severe when Jess is on the prowl. This is what you get. I don't. I don't know what's supposed to happen here. I don't think she's spinning it fast enough. Spin it faster. Faster. Spin it. Spin it. Faster. I feel bad about my chances. Magical 
Okay, so many moons ago, one of mine and Justice's first dates ever was to a way late play date here at the Science Center. And the highlight of that was the poo slide for me. Scoop on poop. What's poop? The color. And it used to build up to where you used to go down a slide over there. You got to become a piece of poop. You were salts, you were carbs, you formula. Jess is going into the bowels of that thing. I don't know where she's going to come out at. But you used to come around. And you pooped out a slide right here. Oh my goodness. I think I just made a noise. I didn't know this was still active. I am so sorry. I did not know this was still active. I was actually talking about how this thing was not active anymore, but I made it made a noise. But the poop slide is gone. That was just a. When traveling by flu powder, speak clearly. Elbows. Elbows what? Alright, we're flu powdering into a different room and this is it. Okay, instead of the flu powder taking to a nocturne alley where there's like magical Harry Potter stuff, it was just a very basic flea market of just random junk. If you're wondering, here's how to do spells. They're all here. Oh, that's fantastic. Ready. What? Tend me your arm. You hold this. And hold my beer. <laughs> Famous last words. Three, two, one. Aparicio. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's Look magic. at that. Look at babe. Look at Thank that. Would you like a magic tattoo? Should I, uh... And what is your mouse? I'm kind of... I mean... I kind of should and get this full time. Off with magical self. I'm thinking I might get a permanent one. Well, let me get her and yes, I'll come get right back. Well, check this out. You cast the spell for her. Okay. And then she'll cast the spell for you. Okay. Ready? And three, two, hold on. Wait. Weather. <laughs> it's cloudy. Okay. Keep this one done permanently. This is pretty sick. Strangers. No one knows. Ready? Oh. You take the oh, wand. I gotta do it now. And a Slytherin, I see. Yes, I'm a Slytherin. But <laughs> you are in for a treat. Yes, you are truly in for a treat. A fucking cadaver! No, rude, rude. No. Uh, I, this is not my wand. This is my, yeah. It's not my wand, so it didn't work. It's not my wand, so it didn't work. You have to arrest this man. It's not my wand. It didn't work. Ready? Three, two, one. He's lucky. I, oh, I no! To That's terrible. <laughs> that is awful. Don't touch the dark mark. This is a cold, sad one that's been left behind. The wizard chooses the wand, just uh, is that your wand? No. Okay, good. These are the wand cores. If you want, they decide, or you can choose it yourself. Ooh, Basil is horror. Oh my gosh, of course. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There is no way. Probability is actually kind of crazy. Mm, yeah. Are you gonna this for me? Okay. I get some dumb Slytherin thing. I was right. so mad. Let's see. Drum roll. Thunderbird tail feather. How many people pulled that one? Thunderbird. Thunderbird. To what was my core? Some snake, basilic, bull crap. That's rude. Um, 
I was the Thunderbird. Seed year one for the bikini nesting tube whilst pulling tightly on the one for. Oh, bee nesting tube. I think that's this one. Or maybe they just play it. As a true Gryffindor, I'm gonna let the smarter house people figure it out and I'll do mine at the last minute and take all the credit. Okay, one reveals. Oh, look at that! Oh, God! Ah, it hasn't fully adapted to me. Yeah, ah! Do you want to go up another level? Go back on and play a song. I don't know how to play a song. Do the big song. Chopsticks. <laughs> kind of sounded Christmassy. Here we go. That didn't work. I'm gonna break it. I shouldn't do that. Let's go somewhere else. Bye, Jesta. What do you mean it's not a slide? What do you mean it's not a slide? What is happening? What happened? What happened? Oh, I see steps. I'm gonna go down there and see what happened. All right, find Jesta. Let's see what just happened. Let's see what happened. Oh, I found her. What happened? That wasn't a slide. <laughs> wasn't a slide? No. What was it? There's little steppies in there. They hurt my butt. Uh, <laughs> that is unfortunate. Stick your hammer there and see. Look what I had to come down. Uh, Keep going. Like, Look in there more. No, oh, they're all the way up there. They're little bumpers. Right Are you okay? No, my butt hurts. Oh, no. Maybe you should go to the shadow room to... I did, it's not working. Go in the shadow realm. Not so I pressed the button and it's not doing it again. Yeah, it's almost like we paid all this money for half the adventure. It's terrible. We did no, get our sick wands though. There's no science for me to science. Train, train, going around, it's going around through the volcano town. Science. Adventure Science Center, if you really want somebody to do your Christmas village, call Jerry Green. He can put this whole thing to shame. I mean, you should be embarrassed. Call Waxo. You want to see how strong I am? You ready? Yeah. Do it. Okay, now do that one. All right, so at the physics of co, uh, whoop, physics of light exhibit, I made poo. Okay, we have left the wizarding world of the Adventure Science Center. Fun night at the Waylight Playdate here at Nashville's Adventure Science Center for wizarding world stuff. Jesta, your thoughts? I had fun. It was a good night. I'm glad they brought this back. It's, I think this is actually the first time they've done this post-COVID, so. Second? Mm -hmm. I was talking to some people on the beer line, and they said it's the second time. Well, it was fun. We got our wands. Definitely will be back for more of these in the future if they have the theming correct for what we want to go to. I don't know what that means. Whatever the themes we like. Like Star Wars?
hope I don't get run over walking across the street. That's it for this one. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming vlogs. The wand chooses the wizard. Where did you park? I don't know. Where did we park? I think it was more that way. Was it? Yeah. Who knows? Good night.